Good morning. It's the Tuesday of the second week of Easter. A little chilly, that's why I got my jacket on this morning. We'll begin with the first reading for today from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of their possessions were their own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. This morning, you will notice that we're by the Holy Family window. And as you might be able to see, we have Jesus in the middle and Joseph on the left and Mary on the right. The Holy Family, a unity, something that we're called to. And it's that relationship that we are called to in our lives. We're called to recognize that we are all family. And if we don't see that family, then we're missing out on the most important thing for us, our connectedness in faith. Today, I'm gonna to ask you to think about family, not necessarily only mother and father and child or children, but family in the bigger sense. As we look through this pandemic, we're seeing that our family is much more than the people we're quarantined with. The family is really quite large. It's the family of humanity. And today, I'm gonna to ask you to think about, to pray for, and maybe do an action for certain members of the family the essential workers, the ones who, like in that reading, went above and beyond so that everyone would have what they needed. I ask that today you pray for all the medical professionals that are on the front lines in the hospitals, but also our primary care physicians who are doing things in so many different and unusual ways to make sure that we stay healthy, we, those who do not have the COVID-19 virus within us. I ask that you pray for and think about those who go out to serve us, those in our stores, our grocery stores, those who go out and DoorDash and Uber Eats and all the other ways that we get our food delivered to us. Pray for them. And also, pray for those who really are trying so hard to make sure that we can have everything we need in our lives. The action part of it. If you happen to be out and you're getting something, and you see someone in scrubs, you see someone in an EMT outfit, consider paying for what they're in line trying to get. It's a way of saying thank you. I encourage you to have your kids today do something. Write notes that they can send to their primary care physicians, their pediatricians, saying thank you for being there for me. And yes, maybe even 
a note saying thank you to their teachers. Not only from them, but maybe even adults as well. Being able to recognize that we are family is really important at this time. Let's not forget that. And let's not let that be what separates us, but unites us in our mission. There's a lot going on in our lives. Let's try to look for the positive, the hopeful. We're not always going to have everything we want. We're never going to have, again, the old norm that we used to have. But if we work together, we can truly epitomize the Holy Family by being the family of man here on earth. Have a good day today.